हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल वंस अगेन सो आई एम बैक अगेन विथ वन मोर टीम इन द लव कप एंड फॉर फॉर मी लाइक अकॉर्डिंग टू माई ओपिनियन आई एम एक्चुअली लविंग द लव कप बिकॉज ऑफ एक्चुअली टू रीजन्स बिकॉज द फर्स्ट बींग द बोनस चार्जस्ट दैट वी आर गेटिंग इन द जी बी एल राइट नाउ फॉर दिस वीक एंड नेक्स्ट द मेटा फॉर लव कप is really narrow so uh, i don't have any uh, other much pokemon rather than the top 20 or 30 pokemon to try out with and it's just a mix and match up of those 30 along with this along in this matter so uh, that's the reason so it is uh, kind of be- becoming stale altogether but the backup from the stardust is actually uh, really good so uh, the team that i have got today is a double poison team or maybe you can say it's a team to hunt down fairies or charmers okay so uh, this team have got uh, elamomola in the lead uh, eidos in the safe swap and scolipede uh, scolipede in the counter or closure so this uh, team is actually based upon uh, this scol- scolipede showcase because uh, what i have seen it is uh, a bit attack weighted pokemon uh, in the gbl and uh, it have got a very uh, low defense uh, from gbl perspective as well so to cover the weakness uh, of my backline being both bug and poison uh, so it will be weak to rock fairy flying psychic and ground so in the love meta flying and ground is almost non existing so i'll be needing coverage for rock fire psychic so for that i'll be uh, coming in with a lomomola which is in the lead which can easily handle fire and rock together and uh, with its bulk and neutral damage from waterfall can easily handle psychic as well and uh, apart from that my back to pokemons is a is a is a part uh, bug typing Uh, both ariados and scolipede so it have got access to uh, excisor and lunge which does super active damage to the psychic typings as well so i can handle those uh, matchups as well so the team strategy over here is a uh, typical abb team style uh, like in case of lead losses with electrode i'll be safe swapping into my ariados which can easily pressurize shield and uh, come out of the matchup in with shield advantages as well uh because it is having access to lunge which uh, always debuffs the opponent's attack so that's the great thing uh, about ariados but uh, it is also uh, a bit risky because there are much more mm, double fire teams that uh, also i have showcased in this channel so i have to keep in mind that uh, my best back to lines my back to pokemon rather do not face fire typings uh especially ariados because it is having access to poison sting which is a fast generating like fast uh, high energy charge move but damage is really low so i have to keep in mind so uh the rating on pv poke for this team is actually b c a and b and threat score of 644 and uh, i i ran this team with uh, for three sets uh last day so the first set being 50 the second set being 50 and the third set was 32 so uh, it was all together of a 13 uh, to uh, run uh, with the steam for me so which is actually really good and that's all uh, for this team and the lineup and the strategy as well so without further more delay let's get into the battles and check out how this team performed So now moving into the first battle I have got a lead of Talon Flame which is very much huge because my Talon Flame uh like like my backline doesn't want to face Talon Flame and they save which is into their own uh, Lickitung over here uh so I'll be safe swapping into my uh, Ariados again because it have it does have a great matchup against Lickitung also because of the debuff from uh Lunge and uh, the buff from Poison uh, Cross Poison so now I'll be going for uh lunch because lunch does hit a bit harder along with the uh debuffing uh my opponent's attack so it is uh, very much great so now uh, the lickitung is almost at its uh, like 60% health uh so now this is going to be a 
debuffed body slam once again which i can easily tank and i'll be now uh, going for the third lunge which will even more debuff the Lickitung and this might draw the first shield or uh, my opponent lets it go which is very much fine now from this re uh, this point i can come back safely with my own uh, Alamovola to which uh, let's see they have got a counter to it which is the Medicham so now with Medicham uh, Scolipede have got a great matchup because both uh, power up punch and counters are double resisted because of the poison bug typing but I have to keep in uh, mind that uh, Medicham have got access to psychic to which I uh, obviously uh, opt to use my first shield and now I'll be going for the uh, Excusor myself. So this Excusor might uh, draw out the first shield from my opponent but my opponent lets it go this time. So which is uh, not very great because now I'll be getting to one more uh, one more Excusor but I believe it was a CMP tie and this is going to be a flame charge which is enough to knock me out. So now I'll be coming back with my tank over here being uh, Alamomola but I like to call it Love Disc 2.0. So this is going to be one more psychic which will dry, draw out the first shield now and I believe this is going to be another flame charge and yeah it's going to be one more flame charge to which I'll uh, invest my final shield and I can easily waterfall the talon flame down and that will be a win for the first battle so that's a great game uh, GG's to my print very well played. So now moving into the next battle, I've got a lead of Electrode, which is the hardest lead that I can face. So that's the reason I'll be safe swapping into my Ariados over here and they safe swapped into their own Alamovola, which is really nice because uh, Ariados can easily flip the matchup uh, in one shield scenario. So I have to inf invest one shield over here uh, and uh, because of the debuffs and spamminess from Aredos, it can easily outpace uh, the Alamovola as well. So now this is going to be one psychic which I have to shield uh, because it will be doing almost knocking knock me out after the double debuffs. So I did not want to take the risk over that over there. So after loading up a bit of energy and to almost two lunges, I'll be going for the first lunge which will uh, knock this other. Alamomola out from that range and I have got a bit more loaded energy and let's see what my opponent comes back with. So my opponent comes back with their own uh, electrode over here which is really nice. So now I have switched the adva switch, uh, the scenario, switch the matchups over here but I am down a shield which is uh, I am fine with. So this is going to be one more discharge which will uh, knock this Ariados out from that range and ha I am happy to do that. So I'll be coming back with my Scolopede over here and as you guys can see this uh, Scolopede with uh, Poison Jab is really uh, hurting the Electrode and they catches one uh, Excisor onto their own Galadian Slowbro over here which is Poison and uh, Psychic Typing so there's a reason I'll not be uh, staying up in this matchup rather I'll be safe swapping again into my own Alamomola because I don't want to face it with Electrode so after hitting getting hit with one uh, Sludge Bomb I realized that I can easily farm this whole uh, uh, like slow bro down uh, after investing my final shield now I'll be going for back to back psychics over here which might uh, draw out both the shields from our rent and the bulkiness of the Alamomola will uh, help this uh, team out so uh, which is nice but uh, my opponent does uh, throw over here uh, which is really nice and after a bit of unfortunate GB lag, uh, I'll be getting the knockout and I'll be coming back with my Scolopede which can easily poison jab down the electrode and getting me the win for the second battle. So that's a great game, GG's. Moving into the third battle, again I've got a lead of electrode and I am uh, tapping on my uh, on my Ariados but I could not switch out immediately because of the lag and I am met with a hard counter with Ariados as well which is Talon Flame. So now uh, it will be a sheer uh, spamminess from this uh, little bug spider over here. So I'll be going for the next cross poison which eventually gives me the 
first shield from opponent, from my opponent, which is really nice. Now I'll be letting my Ariados go down, and I'll be coming back with my Alomovol over here, which is really great because I can easily farm this whole uh, Tyron Flame down. But I have to keep in mind that uh, it he's having access to Brave Bird, which I have to shield, and I completely. Uh, correctly shield the brave bird and since they will be coming back with their electrode so now i will not be staying in that matchup i will be immediately safe swapping into my own uh scholar p to which they have also got an answer to it which is a karate chop mag mortar which is really spicy in this uh love cup uh spicy rather than uh like it is uh, not very relevant uh it is very rare so now i'll be letting these uh first fire punch grow which does actually knock me out from that range which is uh, really really uh, not good because uh, that was a huge amount of energy a huge amount of hp loaded onto that scholar pete but it's uh, very much uh, fragile so now i'll be coming back with my uh, alamomola after shielding the thunderbolt from the uh, from the mag mortar i'll be going to uh, throw the first psychic over here to this electrode which will uh, draw it down very low and I believe I can easily handle one discharge after going uh, like after getting very low I will be going to go for one more uh, psychic which will eventually knock the electrode out from that range and that will be a good game for the third battle also so great game by my opponent GG's moving into the third matchup now I've got a great lead of Grussel over here, which is part rock and uh, bug, and they safe saps into their own fairy over here. So this team is meant for uh, to hunt down charmers and fairies. So I'll be coming uh, to counter this uh, uh, this scolopede with uh, bigger pardon this uh, cliffable with scolopede. So now uh, since. Uh, this is a misplay from my end because I could have gone for the heart farm down from uh, poison jabs onto that onto that cliffable. So now uh, that's a, not a great play, play from my end. So uh, since uh, I do get knockout from that smackdown, I'll be coming back with my own Alamomola, which can easily handle the uh, can easily handle the uh, Grassel over here, and they have got. Uh, their Alomomola of their own. So now I'll be not safe sapping immediately because uh, I want them to throw their first psychic over here. But now I'll be safe sapping because they uh, shielded their first, shielded my first psychic rather, hoping that it would be a hydro pump. Uh, so now I'll be going for my first lunge, which will uh, eventually debuff my opponent. And let's see what my opponent decides to do over here. So they throws over here, which is a psychic, which I have to shield with my. Uh, and it it was a psychic so which is fine so now i'll be going straight for one more lunch uh, because uh, it will be chunking a bit of health and also debuffing my opponent to which i do get the final shield from uh, from my opponent and my opponent tries to sack their own uh, own crustle but uh, i ended up poison stinging them down and that will be a win for the fourth battle also so ggs my opponent just top left the game so great play moving into the final battle of the video and this set uh, i've got a lead of uh, this spammy ariados itself uh, so with this spammy ariados i'll be uh, i'll not be uh, immediately safe swapping because i'll be throwing the first psychic over here which will uh, for sure get me the first shield and then after uh, then after getting like uh, getting hit with one more lunge uh, yeah, this is going to be one more lunch, which I let it go, and uh, after that, I will be swapping back into my uh, Ariados over here, which is the game gameplay and the strategy. And now I'll be going to throw my first lunch over here, which will uh, uh, like uh, debuff the my opponent's attack, and I can easily uh, easily no shield over here. So this is going to be a, either. Uh, lunch or a uh, cross poison which both are uh, doing neutral over here because of the because I am myself a bug and uh, Poison typing so they have their own uh, Alumomola in their back also, which is uh, Really nice might be this uh, opponent is also running double charm uh, beg your pardon a uh, double poison, but in a ABA team style so now after uh, 
loading a bit of extra energy i'll be going for my uh, own lunge over here and let's see so this is going to be one more lunge which my opponent does uh, let's it go and this is going to be a psychic from that range i can easily uh, survive one psychic and it is also debuffed as well so which is really nice so i am counting on my uh, back to pokemons being uh, both bug and poison i'll be coming back with my scolopede over here uh, to get a huge lot of farm uh, with this alum on, onto this alamomola which i am able to do so and they comes back with their own uh, electrode over here so now i'll be going for my first excisor to which i do get the final shield from my opponent and now i'll be going for the hard hitting move of sludge bomb over here so sludge bomb will actually hit very hard it uh, almost does 60% of its health and now i'll be coming back with my area dose with two shield advantage going for a poison cross poison rather and i believe this will be enough to knock the uh, electrode out and eventually get the win for the fifth battle to which their last pokemon is ariados which is low and now i'll be going for my next cross poison to uh, ensure my win and getting uh, the win for the fifth battle uh, with a two shield advantage which is really nice two shield flex rather so that's uh, the five was set over here and uh, it this team worked out really nice for me uh, and i did hunt some charmers down with this team which is really nice uh, and this team have got potential to easily counter double uh, double fire lines as well because of the spamminess from ariados so is really nice so uh, if you, if you guys are using this team do let me know down in the comments and uh, thanks for watching uh, see you again in the next one bye peace